Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm gonna be showing you all about the Adobe Clip Mixer tab up here. Now, this is a tab that's actually usually here by default, but a lot of people skip out on, just because it looks a little bit complicated and it's about audio, which this isn't exactly an audio editor, so some people might go to Audition or something like that, but this is actually pretty powerful for mixing down your videos and getting the sounds to sound right. Um, if you don't see this, you can go up here to Window, and it's right up here under Adobe Clip Mixer. So then, let's get started. Once you have this up, you'll see that it's going to have one of these sort of uh, level gauges for every single layer of audio you have down here. So if I right click down here and I hit add tracks, and we add, let's uh, add zero video tracks, but I wanna add, that's a lot, let's add 15 audio tracks. You'll see that this thing becomes gigantic because every time you add an audio layer, it's going to add a mixer here. And now this is really important because when you're adding audio to your clips, you wanna do something like this. You want gigantic amounts of layers. So maybe like um, A18 down here would be like gunshots, A17 would be uh, footstep folly, A16 would be rustling of clothes, stuff like that. That way you have control over every single aspect and when you mix it down, you can mix it down really, really effectively. So let's go ahead and remove those and let's stick with these three right here. And all I have right here are the default clip audio, which is in track one. Then we have music in track two and music in track three as well. So what you can do is right when you click the play button right here, you'll notice that um, you can see that these start moving right over here. And this shows you the relative sort of positioning of the audio in all three of these. You see, just like that. And if you right click on here and you go in to show uh, channel volume right here, you can actually manipulate the left and the right volumes as well, which is really great for building stereo sound tracks from here. So like, yeah, right here, you know, show channel volume is off by default, but if you right click it, so now I can go, um, let's go and kill all the lefts. And now when you listen to this, you can see that it's all on the right here, but if you listen on headphones or even on speakers that have two uh, stereo setup, you'll notice that it only plays from the right. Just like that. And that is really neat, like I said, for um, stereo building. Whenever you make like a song or even stuff like this, you kind of want to offset them just a little bit to each one of the sides. That way that the headphones have a really full feeling to them. So if you have um, stuff happening to the right, you kind of want to have the audio happening to the right. And if everything's sort of happening in front of you, you can actually sort of position this in 3D space. So if you know, you're making a car sound right there, you might want to push it a little bit more to the right and you can add that sound coming in. So that's just really, really powerful to have right here. And then what you have right here on the left is the overall volume mixers for all of them. So what you can do here is you can move these up and down. And if we like zoom into the third track right here, you'll see that this right down here, if you right click and you go into, uh, actually move up to here, and then you go into show audio keyframes, you'll notice this line comes up. And whenever we move this, it's moving that line as well because we're moving the overall levels. You also notice that over here in the effect controls, if I click on this and we go into the levels right here, if I move this up, or down, it also creates that line. But in here, we can actually do keyframes, so we can, you know, move over to here and then drop it down or something like that, and we can actually create keyframes. But we're focusing on this right now. So what this is going to do is this is going to raise the overall tones of this, um, and also note that it's going to touch the last keyframe added. So it isn't going to add keyframes itself, but it's going to be more of an overarching sort of thing. If you do want to add a keyframe, you can actually click the keyframe button right here. So you can do like um, if you listen to it from right here, you know, maybe you want this first one to fade in, you can click keyframe. So let's go into the second audio right here. We're dealing with this one. So we created a keyframe and we want it to be at zero. And then you'll see that the line goes to here. And then right here, now we want this music to come up. And let's do the inverse. Let's go from here, let's click a keyframe. And we want this one to be loud. And then right here, we want this one to be soft. And now you will see that we have created these two keyframes and it creates this sort of shift of one song fading in while another song fades out. And you can see the levels slowly moving right here as well. So that is really neat um, to happen. That's, uh, it's really, really cool that you can be able to just grab these and mix it down. 
Another thing up here is that you can quickly mute and solo a track. So like I said, if we go down here, we shrink this back down and we right click and we add, you know, bunches of these, 89, oh my goodness. Anyway, you have a bunch of these. You can also um, use the solo track so that you can only listen to one. So if we're listening, we really wanna be mixing um, the main audio or let's actually mix the second audio. We can solo it and this will only allow us to hear this one right here. We can bring that back up. And you can hear it right there in the background. Mute will also make this track muted so that we hear only the ones that aren't muted. Um, so you know you have that control there as well. But that is basically the audio clip mixer tab. Uh, I just kind of wanted to bring awareness to it. If also what's really neat is you can give these all um, names. So you know you can name this one music one like so, and then you can kind of start organizing them from here. You can see that the name switches down here as well so that you can look at this and be, you know, really quickly understand what it is. But other than that, that is basically the music tab uh, or the uh, audio clip mixer tab. It's a great tab to mix down your audio, especially when you're doing a lot of like, if you're doing documentary work or even like a VFX sort of driven uh, piece or narrative piece or anything like that, there's going to be sound effects usually added in. And a lot of times people try to jump into Audition and Audition is a great program, but sometimes you don't need to go in there if you wanna mix down a bunch of different audio clips. You can just do it all right here and keep it all within Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you got any questions or comments, throw those in the comment section below. If you got any suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below as well. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, Adobe related tutorials, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos every other day. And until next time guys, see ya.